To Beyonce, her hugely successful Renaissance tour may have ended last night, but that doesn't mean you missed your chance to see her. ABC's Janae Norman has more on the star's big announcement. Big B, and this morning the B stands for box office. Overnight, the 32-time Grammy winner confirming that a concert film of her record-breaking Renaissance World Tour is anticipated to hit theaters December 1st in a deal with movie chain giant AMC. Posting this video across social media, fans already in a frenzy. I hope you ain't throw away that silver outfit. I mean, it only makes sense. So many people, including myself, were not able to go to the Renaissance tour, and the demand is so high. Sign me up. The hugely successful platinum album Renaissance making way for the highest grossing tour by a solo female artist, highlighted by Beyonce's eldest daughter, Blue Ivy, taking the stage, and cameos from artists like Diana Ross, Kendrick Lamar, and Megan Thee Stallion. <laughs> You're taking a tour like that, which is still having a tremendous amount of blast radius. So to release a film in theaters just months or weeks even after she's played certain dates as recently as her hometown in Houston in September, that is going to pick up a lot of fans. Renaissance raking in a reported $450 million and generating an estimated $4.5 billion for the U.S. economy. Though it's not her first foray into concert films, Homecoming, the 2019 critically acclaimed film of her historic HBCU-inspired Coachella performance, winning a Grammy for Best Music Film. The news echoing word of Taylor Swift, the Eras Tour concert film, set to hit theaters this month, which broke AMC single-day advanced ticket sales and notched more than 65 million bucks in pre-sales. Movie theaters looking to cash in at a time of slumping ticket sales and as several high-profile films face delays because of the actor strike. If you look at the potential of these concert films, they have a really big chance of reinvigorating cinema. All right, so Beyonce's got the big announcement, right? Yeah. Okay. Mike and Fiona probably have a big announcement, too. Is it as big as Always. Beyonce's, though? Let's see. That's no, it's big. Be tough to top, but... Bigger than Beyonce. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, of course, the spooky season is here. Yep, and Adeshua Alaiho from Asukar is here. And you got a great hey. little tip for making spooky treats, right? Yes, we do. We're going to make some little witches' hots here. So just using our knife, cutting at an angle. Okay. Grab a little bit of chocolate on there, and at the end of the day, you will end up with that spectacular treat right there and let them dry. And then cover that in chocolate and some dark little sprinkles exactly. right there. All right, okay. some great little decorations. Stephanie Pina Frost is here and something perfect for the kids, yes, right? this is a really great craft for kids. You can take some styrofoam of uh, pumpkins and you could, I found these really cool things. You can use these on real pumpkins too and you decorate it. Or you could take some flowers and put them on, you can put one right on here. Oh, that's a great yeah. idea. And that gets us wondering, well, do you like to decorate your pumpkins or carve them? So let Ooh. us know, scan that QR code and share your pumpkin fix if you already have them. Back to the kids. Their mom makes some really good bath bombs just for kids. You love these things, right? They are special. And some other good pampering items. We're going to show you all of that. Yes, especially if you've got sensitive skin. Yeah. All right, and we do have insider deals to tell you about. A little pampering and one <laughs> item that in our morning we were like, huh, that's very interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Things that make you... You'll mm. see. <laughs> You'll get that later. That and a whole lot more on SA Live. <laughs> Stick around. Welcome back. We're still watching the radar. There's still some showers, a few downpours, especially south of San Antonio. We have about a 30% chance of rain today, so just be on the lookout for some of these uh, quick pop-ups. They won't last very long. Uh, same story tomorrow. We bump up rain chances a little bit Wednesday, but it's Thursday. That's the day the front comes through and brings about all the changes. 70% chance of rain, cooler by Friday, and especially by the weekend. Loving it. Thank you. I watch them talk about what's coming up on SA Live. All I remember is the word chocolate. And pumpkin. And pu there I go. SA Live starts right. Chocolate pumpkin. Right oh, now. Okay. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from Historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Whoa. Whoa. That sound effect? That was very good. Thank that you very good. much. <laughs> hey, he's Mike Ostrade, I'm Fiona Gorsiza, and October, of course, is the spooky season. Yep. It's time to spookify yourself, your life, 
everything in your home, because why not, and, okay? And your pumpkins. I was going to say, one of the most popular and ways to do it is with a jack-o'-lantern, that's what it says. Indeed. <laughs> How, the question being, do you like to just decorate it? You know, draw pictures on there, put little stickers on it, or carve it? Three, two, one. Carve decorate. it. You okay. have to, oh, look See, at that. See, now Sloan did this all by herself with me, kind of guiding her, but she tried to paint it purple, and then she wanted to add water to the paint, so it kind of got a little <laughs> splotchy. Um, and then she, you know, we just stuck those kind of stickers and cardboard yeah. things on there. Well, that's great. And that's and, her and, mummy pumpkin. But. <laughs> It's kind of a rite of passage for kids, though, when you cut the top off and then they got to stick you their really hands down. You really want me into to do the, this? <laughs> yes, and, and you put your hands down in the, and pull all the guts out. Yes. Okay. And then you you get the seeds off of there and you roast the pumpkin seeds. That's a lot of work. Okay. It is, but it's great. <laughs> that pumpkin will last like through March. Inside. Well, you can't <laughs> carve it until you get closer to Halloween. So anyway, enough of us. What do you think? Scan that QR code and let us know a little bit later on. We hope to have all you pumpkin carvers uh, just you know voting. Or decorators, so. share your pictures. Yeah. Okay, That's changing right. gears now. The Elmo City, of course, we have some very, very impressive bakers and chefs. And another one is stealing the national spotlight, and you can see her on TV competing in the Food Network's Halloween Baking Championship this year. Yes, and that's what Alejo, owner of Azucar, is here to tell us how you can see her compete on TV and teach us some baking skills. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. What was it like? Mm -hmm. It was amazing. It was a definitely a childhood dream come true. So I'm very grateful that I got selected to be on the show. What is something that people may not know about the show? Um, I you know I went going into it. I was like trying to get mentally prepared, and I was like, there's no way I can like have to do something in 90 minutes. Yes, you have to do everything in 90 minutes. Like, really? the, like the time that they give you is the time that they give you. They don't give you any extra. It is what it is. Wow. Now, did you have to make these in 90 minutes? I did not, but I did actually challenge myself because I made these just for you this morning in about 90 minutes. And I reminded myself that I could do this because I was on that television show. So the spooky little cupcakes, how do yes. we get started? So we're going to make these little cute witches hats that you can do with your family. So the first thing would be to punch out the centers of the cupcakes with this little guy right there. And you found that little gizmo on... On yeah. Amazon. On it's, like Amazon? A, it's a cupcake core. You could do it. If you don't have that, you could use a spoon, a melon ball, or a paring knife. I mean, get creative. It's This is family fun, so don't feel like you but have all the tools I have. That Aww. just comes up. And then the whole trick is you, you have this part, and you want to say don't eat that because I'd be it. inclined to, to eat that right now, but we no. need to save that maybe for later, right? Yes, you do. Okay. okay. So the next right step there. would there be, to bring, so I have over there, just this is some cajeta that I just mixed in some green food coloring because I like things that are a little bit spooky and fun. I think my daughter likes fun things, so it's, it's going to ooze out of the center when you're eating it. So you're gonna put your green ooze in the middle. It's like molasses in January ooh, right now. So ooh, that right. looks good. perfect. Uh, okay. <laughs> You're doing so good. So this is why you keep the top on your little core. Oh. Because you're gonna so that way you have a nice smooth surface to work on. So you're gonna definitely wanna stick the yeah. guy back in there. Yep, and just give it a little pressure. There okay. you go. Now right. now it's definitely a surprise. Nobody okay. knows. Okay. So you're gonna grab that one right there. This is just a round piping tip. You can use a 208, 206, and you're gonna make a nice big body. Perfect. Oh, are you eating already? Yeah. He's gotta check and make sure it's not it's poison. Okay. It's okay. caramel. Okay. It's great. And Melted then caramel. you're gonna make a nose. So we have like a piping tip that has like a little triangle. And yes. so you're gonna do the fat side down. Down, yep. like that. Yep, you're doing great. And then come up. And then you're gonna come up. Yep, so you're kind of building that bridge of the nose to like a nice sharp top. Okay, there you go. schnoz on there. Oh, well, it's a so witch. What were some of the things that you had to make on the on the show that we're gonna So make? I had to make a tiramisu. I had to make, but not like anybody's tiramisu. Like I had to make lady fingers and a bunch of things that I haven't done since culinary school. Um, I made a Charlotte Royale. That was fun. Um, Lots of cakes, just any a lot of things that I haven't made in probably about 11 years. <laughs> <laughs> so you're like thinking back to school, going, well, "How did I do this? How do how do you do this exactly? What's the fundamentals? Yep, this you're doing way? good. Like down this yep, way. and just let it kind of gravity fall. Gravity. So we're using a grass tip to kind of create the hair, and then okay. let go, and then kind of shake it off. Oh. Bam, you got it. Damn it. <laughs> All right, while she's doing that, once again, the great little tip because those hats are absolutely adorable, and it's just. An ice cream cone, yeah, right? Yeah, simply an ice cream cone. So I just did this one a few minutes hold that, ago. Real, hold that real steady. Okay. So what we did is I just um, cut the tip at an angle, stuck the nose on the other way. So it kind of has a funky shape. Mm -hmm. And then what you end up with, and then you can paint it with chocolate, and you end up with a nice, pretty, sparkly, and, and which we just is hot. these nice little, uh, nice little 
chocolate or the, the dark colored little sprinkles on yep. there. So, all right, you had a, a restaurant, a cafe, and you're going to reopen hopefully we are. downtown here, right? Yep, we're looking at right now downtown San Antonio, probably early 2024. So definitely stay tuned to that. But you can order from us online. We're going to be selling these Halloween treat boxes. We'll be at some of your favorite Halloween attractions coming up soon. So you can come see me there. And then, um, <laughs> These are looking really spectacular. <laughs> I, have, I have to say Where myself. did her nose go, Mike? <laughs> oh, I'm doing the wrong side. Well, <laughs> sometimes we just have that hair in it's their great. nose. It's That's great. That's what we're going it's for a, here. You know what I learned about Halloween? It doesn't have to be perfect because it's Halloween. <laughs> Okay. Okay. And then we'll, you go go ahead. Ahead. we'll go profile on that one. So, all right. And then how can folks order from you? Because you oh. do uh, all sorts of custom things as well as yes. catering too. So you just go to our website, asucar.com. You can look, hit me up on Instagram or Facebook at myasucar, and then we'll definitely reach out to you and get you set up with any of your custom orders. And you said you're kind of, kind of thinking of different. Good <laughs> lord. It looks like a it's great. Did it's that witch fall off her broom or hit a wall oh, no. or something? Um, it's rough day you out said, here. Yours is you said you're, you're already starting to think of some different things, maybe some sweets I know. for going into Halloween. And I definitely, you know, like one thing that the show helped me do is get really creative and push myself. <laughs> so I definitely am looking for some ideas for any type of pies. I think the SA Live pie is a pecan pumpkin chocolate. Ooh. So come up with some good ideas and send them to me also on social media. We need. Yeah, you did great. <laughs> It looks, like, it looks like the kids did it. For you more know, information on job. the soup card, just <laughs> snap that QR code on your screen. You go to SALive.com, click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Well, of course, Hispanic Heritage Month is underway today, and we are putting the spotlight on local boutique Chasing Camilla. Yes, the shop is all about paying homage to artisans who are passionate about preserving Mexican tradition while combining current fashion trends, and Jen Tobias Trusky takes us there. With nearly 40,000 followers on Instagram, Melissa Rojas with Chasing Camila is inspiring everyone with her unique modern twist on Mexican fashion. And I'm here now with Melissa Rojas, the owner of Chasing Camila, and I'm so excited to be here. Thank you for having me. Let's talk about this business. It is booming, it is growing. You have so many followers on Instagram, but how did you get started? So, I started actually um, when I was at my worst. Um, I know it's not, it's a sad story, but I promise it, gets, it has a good ending. Um, I had just moved from California. Uh, my husband had left me for someone else, had nothing to my name. I relocated back to Texas where my family was. And um, it was an hour never moment. I had a really good, I have a really great background in fashion industry. I worked many years and um, I just got the idea of doing the Sarape Sana hat because I grew up with a Sarape. Um, it was in my heavy in my household and in Mexico, so I loved the colors. And I went to my madrina with the idea. Till this day, she's the one that helps me sew everything. Wow. And then my mom let me borrow twenty dollars to buy the Sarapes to make the Sana hats. And from that day, I placed it on Etsy. Uh, one of my tias made me made my all my cousins buy us a Santa hat, and <laughs> and so then um, it just grew from there. So my business just kept growing. I kept sharing my journey on on social media. Um, then we started making more of our tops. Like I, I went back to my grassroots with fashion. That's my background. So I started creating items um, to dress the modern woman, and we refurbished the Guayabera. That's when the Guayabera came out. That took off, and so it just kept growing until now. I was able to have my space here at Painted Tree. Like I've learned early on that your brand is you, and so you basically have to. I everything I sell, I wear. You know, it's something I like. Mm -hmm. And the Guayabera is such a powerful piece. It's very historic. A lot of presidents have worn it. So I kind of like, why, you know, we should wear it. it. Women would come up to me and they're like, we love the way you do the styling videos. We love how this piece has empowered us. Well, thank you for sharing your story and for everything you're doing, because this is awesome. And I love seeing how you put the twist on fashion and you're following your dreams. So you have a few looks that we're going to see. Yes, I'm excited to show you. <laughs> So we have beautiful Gina right here, um, and she's modeling our newest merchandise from Oaxaca. It's actually a restock, but they're all one of a kind items. Um, the tops, it's uh, handmade in Oaxaca. It's cropped, obviously, to give it a little bit more modern twist. This is made by an artist named Andrea. And then we have the skirt that has a slit, um, and we have that in all different colors. You wanna give a little turn for us? So. It, 
perfect. It's a perfect fit in the slit to give a little bit, a little bit of um, edge, mm -hmm. um, and that's made from an artisan named Jade. Then we have the shoes, neutral shoes, always good with anything. Mm -hmm. um, and then the little bag clutch is made by us, by my madrina. Um, it's also refurbished uh, from another item. And then our aretitos are from an artisan named Hilda, and she's also from Oaxaca. So it gives it a whole cool look for the fall with those fall tones. Next modelo, we have Miss Christina over here, and she's wearing the popular crop guayabera. She snagged one in the pink, and this one is uh, from Chapas, actually. Uh, and then we paired it up with a little teal bolsita, mercadito of eco-friendly recycled plastic. Um, she paired it up, I love how she paired it up with the denim, making it more modern and the bell bottom look is back um, with her nude platforms. And then the aretitos, they're uh, piñata earrings uh, from Oaxaca, handmade. Uh, by an artisan named Ila that I've been working with for like about three years. I do have an online shop. You can find me on chasingcamila.com and that's where you're, you'll find all the newest and where I'm going to be next and all the, all the chisme. All the chisme, yes. We have all the information on our website. Just head over there, essaylive.com, click the As Seen on Essay Live tab or scan the QR code that's on your screen. Huge shout. By the way, Camilla is Melissa's daughter, and she has a whole line of mommy and me items as well as stuff for little boys. And on top of that, so her shop is located inside the Painted Tree Boutiques near North Star Mall. All right. Still ahead on SA Live, a local mom's business created out of her kids' love for bath time. How her family inspired her and how her products can help you. But first, you want to make your home look beautiful this Halloween, but you don't want to spend a lot. We've got some great ideas for creating one-of-a-kind DIY decorations. And again, they're not going to cost a whole bunch. It's next on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, are your Halloween decorations looking scary and Maybe not in a good way. Well, you don't need to spend a lot of money to freshen up those spooky vibes around the house. Our dear friend Stephanie Pina Frost, the owner of The Princess and the Monkey, is here with some home decor ideas, DIY tips, and the best thing about it is they hardly cost anything, right? Exactly. Most of these items that I picked up for, for today, I got them at the Dollar Tree or I had them already in my supplies from previous years, my decorations from previous years. So it's a great way to repurpose some of them. Exactly. Okay. It's a great way to repurpose a lot of these things. Okay, All right. There is a picture of the first one we are doing. Oh, oh, wow. Great. So, Mike, I'm going to have you start on the on the which one. And so okay. um, that one. Which one? On which which? <laughs> on the which 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 one? And so that one, um, I took a... a a witch and I spray painted it black and then I spray painted mm -hmm. the little boxes black as well. Um, I drilled a hole, I put some little micro lights in it and then I secured it all and glued it and then added some okay. of that green moss. And so now we'll just... Keep... Just glue it on there. Okay. So that's, this craft is great. Like if you have some old um, Halloween decorations like that, like like little figurines that um, don't work anymore, yeah. spray them. If they're damaged, just spray them and that paint stays on forever because it does have that primer in it. And then um, you can... You um, that little lichen type stuff, and you put this in here too? Yes, you put that in there too. It makes it look like it's on fire, of ah, course. Okay. So it gives it that uh, glow. spooky, spooky, oh so spooky glow. Mm -hmm. And those little lights, which are battery powered, those things are, are very expensive too, right? Uh, a dollar and a dollar. quarter. Yeah. Okay. And they're battery operated, so you could use it in your kid's room as a kid's light at night, a little night light, kind of a spooky one, but yes. And then of course the cauldron on top. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have uh, Fiona start on the on the ghost. Now I picked up a hanging ghost from, of course, from the Dollar Tree as well. Mm -hmm. And um, I made, I got this basket and I made it into something that you could put up on your countertop instead of hanging from outside. Yes! And so this I just kind of This all comes wired. with the original, right? It all right? comes all together. It's all attached. And so I just kind of disassembled it. You put it all together like that. And then you take one of these little um, pumpkins as well. And this one still has the battery that's working. And um, I took the wire out of it. I let the wire straight on the arms. And I stick that into the pumpkin. That way it's it makes it stationary. Oh, gotcha. oh okay. So that right way you don't here. have to glue it or anything. There. And it, these yes. are perfect little table decorations, you know, that little spot, like you said, the nightlight for the kids or something, or just to put on the yeah. the coffee table. On the coffee table. Put it in your kitchen on the counter in the corner to kind of like make it really spooky. And then I added the little mini micro lights under that as well. 
And then the other thing that I did is I took the styrofoam pumpkins as well from, from the craft store, mm -hmm. and I took tinsel and I took tissue paper, because who doesn't have tinsel paper all over? And that's something super easy for kids to do as well. You cut it into strips, make the fringe. And then I picked up those fun little Look little at you decorations. Decorating a pumpkin. I know he's decorating, <laughs> and I and I stuck him in. Yeah, just use force. It does it. Not going to break anything. And oh, you stick it go. in there, okay. and it's something. It's like um, you said, Mr. Potato Head for a pumpkin. Yes, yeah. and that's so exactly is. what that is. And then you know, I found a bunch of other cute little wood things that I painted and put some micro lights on as well to kind of jazz it up. So if you have something that's you know been been like beat up over the years, that's one of them. This is another one. I found these little ornaments. I put tea lights in the center yeah. of it that I had laying around to create some things. And then, of course, I did these fun little treats with the, and with how, the pretzel uh, oh, sticks. Oh, I see. It's a little bark. spider web. Right? Yes, a little cute spider web for the kids. And that's something that the kids can also help you do. Yeah, and again, all of these things are perfect for the kids. Don't cost a whole much. Don't and cost a fortune. You know, no. now that the... It's We've got, what, four weeks until Halloween? You yes. can do something each and every weekend, perhaps. You can do a fun little it. craft every time, and they can they can take part of it, and they can do something fun with it as well and make it their own. It's really good. And I like this. <laughs> and, the, and the whole point about recycling, because so many times, you know, you have the, the great decorations, but, you know, putting them in the boxes, taking them out, they do get start to get... Get a little yeah. bit on the ding side and damage side. Don't be afraid to to paint them. And then if you don't have, if you can't find the colored lights because they're kind of running out, buy the buy the regular white ones and use, uh, paint it. use uh, fingernail polish the orange to paint the globe. And you're going to be at the Rebecca Creek Whiskey Market Day? Yes, a, uh, Rebecca Creek has a market on the first uh, Saturday of every month and I, I'm setting up up there this, this month and then I have a bunch of, uh, a whole bunch of um, activities I'm doing throughout Okay. The rest of the season, you can find me on social media. Once again, like we we're talking about Rebecca Creek Market Day, which is this coming Saturday, 10 a.m. at 26605 Balverde Road. If you like more information on that, check out SALive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Thank you very much, dear. I'm Tati Amara with your insider deals. And coming up on SA Live, I'm saving you 60, 70, 80% off of items that you can buy for yourself or give as a gift. Next on SA Live, ditch those glasses and contacts for good. How you can fix your vision and save hundreds of dollars on the procedure. It's straight ahead on SA Live. But first, there's a new hospital in town that just opened its doors last week. Methodist Hospital Landmark is a surgical hospital created with the patient in mind first. It's up by I-10 and Loop 1604 on the northwest side. It's South Texas' premier surgical destination at 5510 Presidio Parkway on the northwest side. For more information, give them a call at 210-583-7200 or visit the website sahealth.com slash landmark. Welcome back to SA Live. Safe, comfortable, and fast. No, we're not talking about a car. We're talking about what it's like to get LASIK these days, and our next guest can save you hundreds on the procedure. Richard Doinoff, Director of Operations with Manrique Custom Vision. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you. All right, so for those who don't know, break it down for us. What is Z-LASIK? Uh, Z-LASIK is a totally blade and pain-free procedure uh, that's custom designed for each eye. So basically, no pain, no cutting, nothing like that, and it just takes under 10 seconds an eye to make you see clearly. And that's got to make a lot of folks who may be on the fence about doing something like that to their eye to hear no cutting. Right. No cutting involved and just a few seconds per eye. What is the recovery like? Uh, usually most patients enjoy as soon as you get off the laser. I mean, you see immediately. People don't believe that, but you do. You see right across the room. You go and take a nap for a few hours. We, we suggest at least four hours. Wake up and you're usually done with it. Just a little bit of follow up of drops afterwards. I was going to say, you have me a nap. Yeah, just a nap. Four hours. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Sleep till the next day, whatever. Okay. All right. Um, and do you offer financing for folks? Absolutely. Um, even in a day's market, I checked again this morning, 8.25. But anyway, yeah, yeah it's terrible. Uh, 36 months interest free with your good credit. We're, we're probably only going to have that till the end of October, we're told. Okay, so it's till the end of October, all right? We'll and see. when folks walk into Manrique Custom Vision, I mean, they notice the difference right away, and there is a VIP experience, right? Absolutely. You'll, you'll see like all the pictures of everybody that we've done, you know, and uh, 
Dr. Manrique does premise everything on treating everybody like a family member. He's actually done all his family's LASIK or cataract surgery, and he really does. He strives to treat you like that, and that's how we all do in there. And you can really see how people have reacted to getting this done simply by going to social media, right? Going to the Facebook page. Mm -hmm. You can see what people are saying, and what are they saying? Everybody. I mean, well, 90% plus say, I wish I'd have done it sooner. And it, it is because you're, when you're getting glass and contacts, you're just pulling your wallet out doing this. You do the Z LASIK, make your payments every month, and then once it's done, it's done. You're done with it. And it doesn't, it it's doesn't an get lost. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. get lost. It doesn't somewhere. get lost, and everybody stop, nobody move. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and sure, you've got a special deal mind. for folks watching right now, right? Yeah, if you give us a call, we'll take $1,500 off your Z LASIK. Uh, give them a call, though. Um, I have Sarah and them waiting for your phone call. We get a lot of your a lot of your viewers in, and we like to take good care of them. And you can see them on our social media, too. All right, so there is you are going to want to call call in the next 10 minutes they are standing by and you could get up to $1,500 off your Z LASIK procedure at Manrique Custom Vision just scan that QR code on your screen or call 210-354-2020 that's 210-354-2020 be the first 10 to call in the next 10 minutes. And for more information, visit the website sa.manriquei.com. Thank you so much. Thanks, Fiona. Next on SA Live. <coughs> From taking care of her family to taking care of yours, a local mother was inspired by her children to start her own business of body and home care products. See why they might be right for you. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, our next guest couldn't find bath bombs that didn't stain her children's their skin in the bath, so she decided to make them herself, and that sparked a booming business for this San Antonio mom. <laughs> yes, Jenna Chagoya Cadena, owner and founder of Jenna Nicole, is here to show us her line of body and home care products. I feel like bubble, bubble, toilet. <laughs> you, you look like that. Okay, so what is in the cauldron here mm -hmm. that so Fiona's mixing? In, in our cauldron, we have um, witch's brew. No, just kidding. <laughs> um, we have um, this coconut apricot wax, and we have our own little blend of our fragrance that we added a little bit ago. Um, and it's a nice, the, the coconut apricot wax is nice because it'll burn all the way through and it'll, um, it won't will tunnel on you, so you will get a good use out of your candle. And then also you don't get all that real black, yucky smoke yeah, from paraffin yeah, wax, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, and so... What we, temperature are we looking for? So we need to get it up to about 185 to, to add the fragrance, okay. but that already, we already passed that part. Okay. Um, and once it hits 165, we're good to pour. So okay. we passed that too. Um, and to do that, we have these little guys um, where we stick the wax or the wicks and their clips in. Okay, and now looking at, I think of wicks as being a little fabric wick, but you've got a piece of wood there. I we do. We have uh, our wood wicks. These are actually crackling wicks, and they'll make a nice um, fireplace sound or you know like a wood burning fire sound. Oh, so it's a nice okay. added ambiance to your candle. Yeah. And just put that in there with a the little uh, sticky. Yeah, so we stick dot. it on the little guy there. Right here? Peel, uh -huh. Okay. What fragrance is in here? Because this smells absolutely this wonderful. This one we call it, Tis the Season to be Folly. Um, and it's a scent <laughs> that I so had... That's so you. <laughs> I know. Oh my gosh. Okay. I had blended. Um, it's a mix of pumpkin and there's also some cinnamon, some apple. And then yeah. we just uh -huh. do the little valve here. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. There you go. There you go. Yeah. I feel like Vincent Price in the House of Wax. Right <laughs> here, so. Okay. And right there's about good. Yeah. Okay, and then yeah. that will and go. And then these, uh -huh, we just now, slide it over and. Along with candles, as we were talking about in introducing you, the bath bombs for your kids. So they it actually, I mean, kind of discolored their skin and everything? Exactly, so they were gifted some um, a few years ago and they were staining their hands and in the tub there was, you know, seeing rings left behind. But what we started to do was, um, I would buy bath, bubble bath still, and they wanted bubble bath more than anything, more than the color. And so I found a way to make them do bubble bath. So it's not the traditional explosion of color that you see, it's the bubble bath that you get to enjoy. Oh, um, look at that. And of course, yeah, under running water, yeah. yeah it under running really water, it, it does, it, oh, sorry about that. That's okay. But it, it does do a, a fizzing bubble bath. And you said you have 
kind of a good problem with this. And so instead of trying to get your kids into the tub, you got a tough time getting them out of the getting tub, right? Getting them out of the tub, exactly. Um, and the nice thing too is because we add some coconut oil and some vegetable glycerin, it leaves your skin smooth, mm -hmm. and it will actually act like a, almost like a conditioner for like your hair as if you get in the water. Well, because they yeah. do get it all over themselves, right? And yeah. this is great because, you, well, you discovered this because your kids had eczema, right? So you're looking for so something to be easy on their skin, right? Exactly, and that's sort of what also spurred, because we started doing these, um, and that started the, the creation of our body butter. So our body butters, we add some shea and cocoa butter, so they're extra moisturizing, and a little bit goes a really long way. Um, and yeah, and, and, and it will leave your skin extra moisture, moisturized and soft. And then a lot of other products on top of that as well, right? Exactly, yeah, okay. so those, we have our uh, room and linen sprays. You can use that as a pillow mist. You can use it in your car. I actually have a couple of those in my car um, because sometimes my kids leave you know, their leftover snacks and um, oh, they kick off nice. their shoes and... <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah, moms with boys, kids yeah. with shoes. That's, yeah, exactly, so. I do have that one too. That's a vanilla spruce, so it's a nice holiday Christmas scent. Oh, and you nice. are going to be? Um, so this weekend we're going to be at the Market Days at Encino Park. Um, and then next weekend, or the following weekend, we'll be at Garden Ridge Market Days. All right, you can find Jenna Nicole products, as she mentioned, at Encino Park Market Days this Saturday, October 7th from 9 to 6. For more information, go to salive.com. Click on the Ask on SA Live tab. Next on SA Live, a hilarious comedian helping kids in the Alamo City. What's behind this one-of-a-kind event and how you can attend. And don't forget to vote for our question of the day. Do you prefer to carve or decorate your jack-o'-lanterns? Let us know, scan that QR code, and if you've got some pictures, we'd love to see them. Why did the apple cry? Because he hurt his leg. No, <laughs> because his peelings were hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, there's nothing like the sound of little kids laughing like that that just warms your heart. And you're going to find some big laughs at an event coming up this Thursday at Sunshine Cottage School for Deaf Children. And you may have heard us talking about it in the past couple of weeks. And it's a night of comedy with DJ Demers. And it's also a fundraiser for the school. Here with everything you need to know is Director of Development, Miriam Elizondo. Welcome, Thank welcome. You, okay, you've got a comedian there, but then you got the kids too, right? We do. We're very lucky. We've got two things going on this Thursday. So we've got uh, an event that starts at 6.30. We are partnering with DJ Demers to bring the first comedy show at Sunshine Cottage. And so we've got food trucks coming in. One of them is actually owned by one of our alumni, Jen Eddy Trailers. And we've got tap trucks that will be coming in and serving some tasty fall cocktails. And it's just gonna be a, a night full of fun, laughter, all while we celebrate the successes of our kids but I have a big announcement. Yes. So our, um, if you come, you're gonna actually have a show, two shows for the price of one. Our children, our students, three year old all the way to fourth grade, have been working on their own stand-up material and we caught it on film. <laughs> and so at, Thursday, uh, at the event Thursday, we are going to exclusively um, release that film. So you, you have to come. Oh my gosh, I bet that was just great putting that thing together. They're amazing. Okay, and then why did you reach out to uh, DJ Demir? So DJ lost his hearing when he was young and he wears hearing aids, and he utilizes uh, listening and spoken language as his form of communication, so it aligns with our mission. He, is a, he uses advocacy and awareness on the stage, and uh, he does not allow or he does not see his hearing loss as uh, something that will keep him from his dreams. He's just a perfect example of the endless possibilities that, that are there for our children. So then why a uh, comedy show? Well, Sunshine Cottage is working hard to bring uh, more community-centered events to our campus. We want more people to know about us, we want more people to know about our resources, and we want to kick off Audiology Awareness Month with a fun and memorable event, and who better to partner with than DJ Demers? Which is where all the money goes to the uh, some of the hearing aid implements, right? Correct. So. Every all ticket sales, all donations, all Dealer Heroes uh, memberships, all of that is helping our event, our um, programs, excuse me. One of the programs is our hearing aid loaner program. So essentially we're putting little computers on, on kiddos and like all technology it malfunctions, needs repair, they break. And so we have an inventory available for our children. So in the event their personal um, hearing device breaks down, they can borrow one of ours and they can have continuous access to sound. 
Okay, and those are, I mean, they're, they're not cheap, so that's why you need everybody to come out there. You don't have to be affiliated with the school at all. If you just want to have a fun Thursday night, great food, a couple of cocktails, and two comedy acts, right? That's right. Everyone's invited. You just head over to our website, sunshinecottage.org. It'll prompt you immediately to go and buy a ticket. We only have 40 tickets left, so you really want to get your ticket today. Okay, well, don't forget, it is this Thursday, 6.30. I have the, the distinct honor and pleasure of being the master of ceremonies out there. It's the G.J. Demers and kids. We've got to put that on their comedy show. 603 East Hillebrand Avenue and scan the QR code for tickets or go to the website sunshinecottage.org. Thank you very much, dear. See My you pleasure. Thursday. Yes, sir. Coming up next on SA Live, I'm saving you 60, 70, and 80% off of items that you can buy for yourself or give as a gift. Welcome back to SA Live here at beautiful historic Market Square. Where the insider deals are back, and this time around, they are helping us eat healthier and relax. Yes, they're also great for gifts, and here's insider deals expert Tati Amara with the latest roundup. You all know that I love a good deal and nothing is better than sharing them with you. Get ready for some practical items that you'll use every day and will help you get a jump start on your holiday shopping. To get shopping for these exclusive deals, just scan the QR code on your screen or head over to morningsave.com and look for the insider deals. Now first up, the perfect bag to give as a gift or get a couple for yourself. The H by Halston Crossbody Messenger Bag. Not too big, not too small, this bag is just right. It fits all the essentials and does so while looking super chic. What I love about this bag is that it offers convenient organization with multiple compartments and pockets. There's a place for everything and it keeps everything in its place. And you'll get so much use from this bag. You can easily go from day to night with just one accessory. Now the crossbody strap is thicker and has a casual vibe while the thinner strap is a little bit more elegant. Now you may have seen this for as much much as $98, but with this insider deal, you can get one for $20, a gigantic discount of 80%. Now, how about a way to have your own fresh homemade yogurt right from your kitchen and save money? The Dash Greek Yogurt Maker makes this happen for you. And the best part is that you control the ingredients. Organic, sweetened, flavored, plain, you can make it exactly how you and your family like. Just use any type of milk and a bit of store-bought yogurt to get started. Leave overnight and you'll wake up to all the probiotic benefits of Greek yogurt right at home. And to make it even more convenient, it's compact, so it won't clutter up your space. And it's super popular with nearly 1,000 people giving it a five-star review. Now, you may have seen this for as much as $50, but with this incredible insider deal, you can start making your own Greek yogurt for $19.99, a huge discount of 60%. Now to something that is perfect to hold on to for stocking stuffers, and you probably never have enough for of yourself. Now I'm talking about the Aki True Wireless Earbuds with Wireless Charging Case. We all need at least a few sets of headphones, right? For the house, the office, your gym bag, your car, you name it. And these water resistant earbuds will have all the bells and whistles and the look of the other big name headphones without the big price tag. Now these feature Bluetooth for fast pairing, hands free calls, voice assistant, and so much more. Now my favorite feature is the five hour battery life plus 25 hours of additional time with the charging case. Like I said, it's not too early to start grabbing stocking stuffers and these would make a great gift for anyone. Now you may have seen these for as much as $40, but with this exclusive insider deal, you can get them for $12, a huge discount of 70% off. Now these are not to be missed. Then when you're ready to get in a little self-care, you can enlist the help of the Brio IC Massager. Your body can benefit from massages in more places than just your neck and back. This massager provides relief after long hours of work, glued to electronics, and everyday stressors. Now it targets acupuncture points around the eyes, eyebrows, and temples with air pressure massage, vibration, and heat. And for even more relaxing experiences, it also features four soothing sounds. It's also nice and compact so you can take it with you anywhere. 
that you've likely seen these for as much as $80, but with this insider deal, you can get it for $29.99 and save 63%. Another great gift idea if you ask me. Now to get shopping, just scan the QR code on your screen or head over to MorningSave.com and look for the insider deals. And remember, these are only available while supplies last, so don't miss out. Happy shopping and happy saving. Okay, so I think that you could benefit from the last thing they showed, you know. You mean after a day with you? No, I'm no just after your long days. Okay, I would think be so that would be interesting to try. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. More soothing sounds. I wonder what the sounds are. Okay. I don't know. All right, Why to buy these deals point? and more, okay. go to morningsave.com and look for insider deals. You'll find a link with all the details on ksat.com or just scan that QR code on your Send screen. Send it right to me there. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's the sound of the waves crashing. Come on, say live. We're getting to the Halloween spirit with an epic DIY project. Fiona actually made this bubbling cauldron, and you can too. We're going to show you how, and it's really cool. That's tomorrow, 1 p.m. at on SA Live. When it comes to pumpkin, yes. Do you carve or decorate carve. your pumpkin? Let's see. Oh. Yes. Joanna's on your island with carving. Okay. Whoa, carve upside, carve upside down. down for Marie. Interesting. And then it'll just all the guts that you keep talking about. Yeah, and you we'll get just... seeds out of there. A little salt on there.